What is up everyone, it's Yuval here. Today I want to teach you guys how to take your Lightroom presets and turn them into LUTs. So recently I made a music video and I was kind of stuck on the colors, I couldn't get it right and then I found out that I can actually take my Lightroom presets and turn them into a LUT and that's exactly what I did and I was really happy with the colors. So let me just show you guys a small sequence from the music video using the LUT that I created. channel my name is Yuval and I make videos about filmmaking and travel so if you're interested in that kind of content make sure you're subscribed and also hit me up on Instagram because I got a lot of stuff going out there so let's just get back on topic so we're in Premiere Pro and this is the timeline of the music video and the shot you're seeing right now is without any color to it and that's how it looks like after I apply the lot that I created and let's try to look at another shot so we get this shot as well ungraded and if I apply the color you can see the difference that it makes so I was pretty happy with the color that I've been able to create here using my method of transforming Lightroom LUTs uh, sorry Lightroom presets into LUTs and I'm gonna show you how you can do it too so you have to go to Google and just type in LUT generator and it's the first option here it's by the company called IWLTBAP so pretty simple you just click on download and click again on download and I already have it on my computer so I'm not gonna download it again but essentially this is what the LUT generator looks like so you can see you have two options here. So the first thing we need to do is go back into Premiere Pro and we need to take the snapshot of a frame that we think would be a good option, would be a good frame to test out the color on. So I'm gonna use this frame without the color, of course. I'm gonna click on this export frame button and I'm gonna choose where to save it. Click OK. And that's basically is going to take a screenshot of your frame and save it. So I have the frame right here. And I'm going to import it into Lightroom. So I have the frame now in Lightroom. And the next step is going to be create, uh, sorry, generate uh, H-A-L-D. So we're gonna click on it and search for where we saved the frame. Choose the folder. And as you can see now, we created this file. Just this colorful thing. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but trust me, keep following me and it's going to make sense very soon. So now we're going to go back into Lightroom and import this colorful thing as well. So now we have both this JPEG that we created and our frame. And now we're going to get into the coloring and for me, I just used um, some Vesco preset that worked really well with this frame. I'm going to choose the preset and usually I would spend more time working on the color, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna make it quick. So you have to basically turn off any effects that are not color related. So for example, vignettes, grain, um, any sharpening, 
or those kind of things they can really mess up the lot so you have to turn them off so once you're done working on the colors and you're happy with how the frame looks the next thing you need to do is to basically sync the settings from this frame into the colorful JPEG so I'm gonna select both of them and just click on sync but what you want to do now is go and export this file the JPEG back into the same location um, again take off any resizing or sharpening or anything like that and I'm just gonna call it color export and now we have the previous JPEG and the one we created right now so we are almost done we just have the final step to make and that is get back to the light generator click on convert to cube go to the same location choose the one choose the JPEG that we already edited so not the original JPEG but the one we just made inside of Lightroom so we're gonna click open it's gonna say conversion is done and now you can see in the same folder we have this cube file which is a lot so now you can take this lot and use it in all of your projects just as you would with any other lot so that was it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i'm sure this technique would be useful for a lot of you guys if it helped you please let me know down in the comments also if you have some video suggestions or anything you would like to know please write it down in the comments if you'd like to see more of these videos make sure you're subscribed and also hit me up on Instagram because I have a lot of content that I upload there, including exclusive stories and posts. So hit me up and I'll see you guys in the next video.